Yes, uh, this is GF Lazable from GamerFusion.com. What is going on, guys, and welcome to another Destiny video. Today, we're going to be talking about why exotic weapons don't feel exotic. Before anything, though, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't so already, if you're part of the GF unit, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date to all things Destiny related, especially right now with Rise of Iron. If you're coming back and you've been away from Destiny for a while, or if you're new to the game, you're definitely going to want to keep this channel unlocked. We'll have you covered with everything that has to do with Destiny. Now, if you also find this video helpful and informative, make sure you guys leave a comment and a like after we discuss our topic. So, today's topic is why exotic weapons don't feel exotic. So, I decided to come to the exotic blueprint and see the weapons we have available and talk a little bit about why some of these weapons don't feel exotic. So, we'll talk about the primaries and secondaries and we'll divulge i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick overview of which ones are the op weapons that almost everybody uses and the ones that are remaining so of course you have the mida mida is heavily used in pvp and pve but mostly in pvp you see this weapon used a lot so this one is an exotic that a lot of people use right then we have next up we have the last word which is another exotic that it was almost about to be extinct but it came back because it's it's still OP. So we have the last word, another weapon that's using very used a lot in PvP, and of course, either the apart from that, you have your uh, your primary slash secondary universal remote that's used a lot a lot in PvP, and you also have the only other thing that remains would be the truth rocket launcher. So off the bat, these are the top three or I would say top number one or the top four exotics that you see a lot in PvP and my question is how could this possibly be when there's this much big of a ray in a destiny right so we have we have weapons like the Hawk Moon which is used a lot in uh, you know prior to its nerf we have uh, weapons like the bad juju which was used a lot we have red death which is used a lot in year one we have the Soros which is pretty used a lot a lot during uh year one as well but to me all these weapons have kind of somehow gone extinct they're no longer you know there's no longer that thing where you have to kind of decide and say huh i wonder if i should use this weapon opposed to this other weapon because there's so many other legendaries that have taken this place for example you have you have the doctrine you have the hawksaw you have you know uh the conspiracy theory the party crasher you have all these weapons that are, you know, taking the place of exotics. And this is why I want to talk to you guys. And I kind of want to have you guys' opinion on this topic as well. Why don't exotics feel exotics? To me, an exotic is a weapon that you have to decide and you have to handle the limb where it's like, either I use this weapon or if I don't use it, I'm not going to be getting the same amount of kills if I don't use it. Or it has to be a weapon where you have to decide, it's like, man, I really want to use this sniper because it's going to be very effective, this exotic sniper. But dang, if I, if I don't use this primary, I'm going to be really, you know, really messed up. And right now, the, I believe the game doesn't feel that way. Right now, the game caters to where, like, okay, you, you know, you can equip the last word, you have a longbow, you don't really have that much of a, you know, back and forth trying to figure out which weapon to use because the legendary is... Bet I mean, you look at the sniper rifles here. You have, you have the uh, her her after. You have the black spindle. You have the no land beyond. You have the patience and time. You know, you have all these weapons that uh, you have them, but there is no sense of urgency to actually say, "Oh man, I, I I'm going to use this one instead of my longbow," or you know, I'm you know, I can't. I want to use my longbow, but dude, this exotic's a lot better. Or like if you have the doctrine, or you have the hawksaw. You know, you have weapons like that, or, you know, um, the Lord High Fixer and all that stuff. You have those weapons, and it's not like, oh, man, I should, uh, maybe I should use the Hawk Moon. You know, there's there's not that incentive. And this is where I think Destiny is lacking a little bit, but I want to know if you guys agree or disagree as well. I think Destiny should focus primarily on making these weapons to where you actually have to decide which weapon to use. I think this would not only at the field on to you know what we encounter in pvp we have multiple people using different weapons people that like auto rifles will use auto rifles people that like pulse rifles will use pulse rifles people that like hand cannons will use hand cannons there's not going to be a weapon that's like op where everybody's using it right now 
at the current moment, everybody seems to use the same things. You know, if you go to a PvP match, you see the same things being used. And I would like to see a larger variety of things being used within Destiny, not only because it makes the fun more engaging and more fun, but it also makes it more challenging when you're playing other teams because you don't you you don't you know you have to figure out how to counter each individual weapon. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys agree or disagree. And I know I probably you know didn't mention a couple weapons like the Plan C, the Telesto, and stuff like that that people like to use. But overall, in general, those are like the primary weapons. You if you go to a PvP match or like trials, those are the primary weapons that you're going to be seeing used. Even though some people do tend to use other stuff, but those are the ones you mainly see. And I would like to see a variety. I would, you know, I would like to actually go into a trials match and see someone using the Monte Carlo, the Soros, you know, the Harlight, the Salad Supercell, you know, the Hawk Moon, the Patience in Time, the Bad Juju, the Red Death. I mean, you have all these weapons. You have, you know, like the Gemini. When you know, when we, when I saw the Gemini, I was like, oh man, this weapon's gonna be really solid, and it didn't turn out that way. But and I want to hear from you guys. Please let me know what do you guys think. What weapon do you use primarily the most as an exotic? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget, guys, if you want to stay up to date to all things Zesty, make sure you keep it locked on this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.